I've done Tatooine my whole life. There's no such thing as an abandoned Sarlacc pit. There is if you eat the Sarlacc. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Star Wars monsters. <laughs> No time, General! What the hell is this thing? I have no idea, but it's big. For this list, we'll be looking at the most impressive, fearsome, and iconic monsters in the Star Wars universe. What's your favorite Star Wars beast? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Raftar. Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens. Kill them! And take the droid! <laughs> Hailing from a swampy planet with a toxic atmosphere, these carnivorous cephalopods are best described by Han Solo. They're big and they're dangerous. A grotesque, seething mass of tentacles and teeth, they're actually distantly related to the Sarlacc. As seen when they stalk the corridors of the Aravana, they're incredibly fast and dangerous, using their tentacles to whip forwards to capture prey. In the comics, Darth Maul manages to take on several with just an axe, but we can't say we'd recommend such a risky endeavor. They're pack hunters, so when you find one, it likely won't be alone. Number 9. Brainworm – Star Wars The Clone Wars If there's one thing we clones know… It's how to stop a Jedi. Quite a few of the monsters in the Star Wars universe seem like they come straight out of a horror movie. One of the most disturbing is the Brain Worm, from the planet Geonosis. These parasites enter the body of potential hosts through the nose and take control of their minds. They're even able to animate the dead. The Geonosian queen Karina the Great tried to use them to take control of Anakin and Obi-Wan. Watch as my child. Enters your Jedi friend. While she failed, one worm did later manage to possess Jedi Padawan Barriss Afi. Barriss, no! Fortunately, they do have a weakness, the cold. No matter the temperature, though, they're bound to make you shiver. Number 8. Ackley. Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. <laughs> While they don't look it, these ferocious crustaceans are actually amphibious, spending much of their time underwater. Using an organ under their chins, they can sense electrical energy, allowing them to locate and spear prey. A couple of them were taken from their native planet Vendaxa to Geonosis to be used as executioners in the Petronaki arena. I've got a bad feeling about this. They're not the only terrifying monsters in the arena, where we also see the rhinoceros-like Reek and feline Nexu. Both make for formidable foes. But it's the Aklay who really stands out, thanks to its six legs, grappling hands, and razor-sharp teeth. Number 7. Ice Spiders – The Mandalorian Arachnophobes, we don't blame you if you skip this one. As babies, these six-legged creepy crawlies are already terrifying enough, scuttling across the floor of their icy caverns on Maldo Crease. But as adults, they're in a new category entirely, aggressively territorial with eight long legs to catch you with. Their heads actually dangle down from the middle of their bodies, ending in large round mouths full of teeth. They recall the Krykna on Adalon in Star Wars Rebels. You think it's aggressive? I'm not waiting to find out. Both were based on the same Ralph McQuarrie concept art for a knobby white spider originally intended for The Empire Strikes Back. However, it's the ice spiders we're still having nightmares about. You just can't help yourself with the egg-eating, can you, Grogu? Number 6. The Zillow Beast – Star Wars The Clone Wars We've seen some pretty giant monsters now, but this beast puts them to shame. From the forest planet Malastair, the semi-sentient reptilian Zillow Beast is over 300 feet long and weighs 60,000 metric tons. Even so, in Star Wars The Clone Wars, Palpatine somehow thought it was a good idea to bring one to Coruscant for study. The creature's subsequent rampage is essentially Star Wars' take on Godzilla and King Kong. While it was eventually killed, it left a trail of destruction in its wake. 
The Zillow Beast was so powerful, it was revered as a god by the Banathi, up until Kylo Ren killed it. Number five, Gorog, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. What the hell is this thing? I have no idea what it's being. As we're including Legends monsters here, there's no way we could leave out this behemoth. Anything big enough to crush a Rancor in one hand is worthy enough to make the list. Players face off against this beast in the gladiatorial arena on Cato Nemoidia in The Force Unleashed 2, and it's no simple battle. The Gorog breaks free of its restraints and brings down the entire arena, which is suspended high up in the air. Again, giant monsters in precarious places, not a good idea. The whole arena crumbles and falls, as does the Gorog, but not before Starkiller drops right through it with lightsabers ignited. Number 4. Wampa, Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. If you ever find yourself upside down and facing a Wampa on Hoth, hey, it could happen, it would be a good time to start panicking. Living in icy caves, Wampa are carnivorous mammals who can weigh over 400 pounds. The white-furred Bigfoot is a dangerous enemy even for a force wielder. Granted, Luke wasn't a fully trained Jedi at the time of his capture by the beast, but it's still Luke Skywalker we're talking about here. The Wampa is a hulking monster, but somehow able to move quickly despite its stature. Its fur blends into the snowy backdrop, making it a dangerous hunter. Number 3. Crate Dragon, The Mandalorian These reptiles from Tatooine will make any Tusken Raider run for their lives. They're actually divided into two species, the Canyon Crate Dragon and the even larger Greater Crate Dragon. The former appeared in the video game Knights of the Old Republic. It was small potatoes, though, next to the Greater Crate Dragon that reared its giant head in The Mandalorian. Not only can it swallow its prey whole, it can spew acidic venom and burrow into the sand. We're not sure if the dragon's highly sought after pearl is worth all that trouble. Number 2, Sarlacc, Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Victims of the Almighty Sarlacc, His Excellency hopes that you will die honorably. The Sarlacc on Tatooine was once believed to have killed legendary bounty hunter Boba Fett. <laughs> Thankfully, Boba Fett survived, but that perception helped solidify the Sarlacc's status as one of Star Wars' most terrifying monsters. Inhabiting the Great Pit of Carcoon in Tatooine's Dune Sea, this creature was fed prisoners for Jabba the Hutt's twisted amusement. Sarlaccs inject their victims with painful and paralyzing neurotoxins before slowly digesting them. Young Sarlaccs are actually relatively small and fast, but upon reaching maturity at 30,000 years old, they burrow down 100 meters into the sand and become sedentary. Looking into the depths of its tentacled, beaked mouth is enough to give anyone goosebumps. Grab it! Almost! You almost got it! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Sando Aqua Monster, Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Always a bigger fish indeed. There's always a bigger fish. Music think we going back now. Nidak, Star Wars Jedi, Fallen Order. Dathomirian predators that make fierce foes. <laughs> Dianoga, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. These cephalopods will make you think twice about sliding down a garbage chute. <laughs> Fear knock. Star Wars Rebels. They only live in darkness. One with the Force. One with the Force. One with the Force. One with the Force. Chirodactyl. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Because it's basically a giant, terrifying bat. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Porgs, Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. 
Sure, these furry cuties might look adorable on the outside, but you know what? <laughs> yeah, we're just kidding. Let's move on to the real number one. Number one, Rancor. Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. These semi-sentient reptilians are actually native to Dathomir, but they were first introduced to fans through the formidable specimen that Jabba kept in his pit on Tatooine. Fun fact, this Rancor's name is actually Patissa. It was described by creature designer Phil Tippett as, quote, a cross between a bear and a potato. Watching the scene in which Luke battles this monster is impressive by today's standards, so imagine what it was like seeing it in the 80s. We get that no one, mostly, actually chooses to live on Tatooine, but seriously, crate dragons, sarlaccs, and a rancor? No wonder Luke wanted to leave. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.